Hey everybody, my name is Willow, and I'm working to help people to wake up. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit to you about the shift, and then how to connect with the higher energies that are coming into the planet right now, uh, because the energies are getting, going to be more intense, and they're affecting everybody in really strange ways. But everybody knows about the shift. Everybody knows that we're going through a shift from we're shifting from the third dimension into the fifth dimension. I think everybody knows about that. And plus, the shift has already started. So, if you're still here on the planet, then you've pretty much already started the shift. And if you, if you started the shift, then you're going to be having some of the symptoms that go along with it. Uh, most common symptoms, memory loss. Everybody's going to be having some memory loss. Strange vibrations within the body, strange uh, tingling sensations within the body. Uh, you might even have a little pain as the energy tries to come through. If there's any things, if there's any blockages within your body, you might have some pain in, in your body as the energy tries to push through. You might on days when the energy is really, really strong, you might have dizziness or vertigo, and you and you feel like you're losing your balance, like you can't walk very good. Walk very good is sometimes even when it's when the energies are really really powerful you may have some flu like symptoms like nausea and vomiting and diarrhea I mean the things and this might just last for a couple of hours and then be gone but there's uh there's there's just a whole whole list of symptoms that uh that you can have right now and as the energies increase. The symptoms are going to increase. That's important to remember because before you just want to run off to the doctor and have all, and have a lot of tests run and find out what's wrong with you, remember first that it just might be the energies that are coming in from the sun that are causing your illness. And if you wait a couple of days, it might just be okay. It may leave. So, but everybody's having the symptoms. Why? They have to because they're making the shift. And during the shift, everything shifts. Your everything in your life is going to start shifting. So if you may be losing some things and then you and then some things may just be shifting around. Our brains are being shifted. Our our brains are being rewired and we're coming uh we're coming back online. Our DNA, our dormant DNA is being reconnected. We're coming alive. We're coming back online, and we're regaining our powers that we had before we fell. So this is all part of the shift, and all of this has to happen. All of this rewiring and this changing and this shifting has to happen in order for us to move into the fifth dimension where we're going to be experiencing love, peace, and harmony and joy, and there won't be any negativity. Now, it's very important that you that you make this shift and it's very important that you know how to connect with the higher energies because if you don't connect with the higher energies and get into alignment with them and you stay in the old energies the old third energies then as the planet continues to shift and the energies keep intensifying then you're going to be stuck in all the chaos because it's in the old energy, the third dimension, where all the chaos is and all the problems and all the sickness and every, all the negativity is going to stay here in the third dimension. So your goal is to get out of it, move out of the third dimension and into the fifth. So that's why I want to talk about how to connect with the energies and how to ground with Mother Earth because grounding with the earth is also very important if we want to be balanced and in alignment with the energies. First of all, there's three ways, there's three main ways to connect with the energies. The first one is through meditation. Just focus your attention on whatever you want to focus your attention on. The easiest way is, to, is just to follow your breath. Follow, watch your breath as it moves up through your nose, watch it as it goes through your nostrils, watch it as it goes through your mouth, watch it as it goes down through your body, just follow your breath, and as you breathe out, you follow it as it comes out, and release it, 
if you're following your breath, then you're not thinking. And that's the main idea in meditation is to stop thinking. Because it's when you're thinking is when you're in separation from God or the energies. So you don't want to think. You want to stop your thinking in order to meditate. Now, you don't have to... You don't have to focus on your breath. You can focus on your heart center. You can focus on, uh, and I'll, just put your focus on whatever you feel like following. But the main thing is to quiet your mind and stop your thinking. Now, let me tell you what happens when you stop your thinking. Because this is the most amazing part. When you stop your thinking, when you can stop your mind from chattering, and you're focused on your breath, or focused on your heart, or wherever, You every moment that you have stopped your thinking, every moment that you have silenced, you are allowing an entrance for God to enter in. This is how God comes in, through that vacuum of silence. And, and the more that you, the more that you can meditate, the more that you can, remain silent and stop your thinking and allow God to enter in, then your consciousness begins to expand and then you begin to wake up and you begin to grow in God and you begin to see reality as it really is. So that's the point of meditation and meditation number one and then number two, the main uh, is being out in nature. Being out in nature. When you're out in nature, you're in the raw energy of the trees of the air, of the water, you, nature, and this, this is another way of, of grounding too with Mother Earth, because when you're in nature, always make sure that you go barefoot. If you can't walk out in there barefoot, when you get there, take your shoes off, because you want the energy from the earth to move up through your feet and up through your body, and this is how you ground with Mother Earth. But nature assist us in our awakening nature will speak to us if we will listen if we learn how to listen to it we are one with nature and if we don't know that if we start spending more time in nature nature will show us that because it's here for that reason is to help us ascend and help us wake up number three is sleep when you go to sleep at night naturally your mind is shut off you're not having all the cluttering in your mind. And you're not thinking. And that's when you fall into the deep sleep and deep meditation. And actually, that's where most of the work goes on in the spirit world. That's where most of your your uh, your changes start happening, and your 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 body gets gets to, gets starts to rewiring, and you get the downloads and everything. That's usually in your sleep is when you get really recharged by the energies. So that's the three main ways. There is another way to connect with the energies, and it's my favorite, and I do it every day, and that's the sun. When I walk out in the morning, the first thing I do is I stand in the sun. If it's out and I can find it, I stand in the sun, and I let the rays from the sun just bathe me, just pour over me and bathe me, and then. I connect. I say, Father, I connect with the universal source. I make that connection with the universal source, and I connect it with the universal source within my heart center. And that's the best way as far as connecting, as, as connecting with the energies that are coming in. Because you don't want to get stuck in 3D. You don't want to get stuck in the old energies. When the when the higher ones when the higher ones really come start hitting you, now they've already been hitting you. They've already been hitting everybody, but when they really 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 start intensifying and they start hitting you, and you start feeling like you're losing your mind, or you feel you start feeling like you're getting you're getting a disease, or you're getting sick and you don't know what to do, you're going to have to know. At that time. When it really hits you, a lot of people ain't worried about it right now because they're not being necessarily bothered by it. They might just be having some some short-term memory loss and they don't think anything of it. But it's coming, folks. It's coming. 
everybody is experiencing the shift and everybody is experiencing the symptoms. Everybody might not be having the same symptom that you're having right now because it's all based on what level you're at, what, what your vibration, what frequency you're vibrating at. So as, we, as you go higher and as the energies increase, as the energies increase, you're going to have to go higher in your vibration or you're not going to be matching the energies that's coming into the planet. And then if you're not matching it and you're not getting in alignment, working to get in alignment with these energies, then you're going to get sick. The energies are going to get stuck in your body. You're going to get sick with something. And when you get sick, that's your body's way of telling you, hey, you got some work to do here. You got to clear out this. You got to clear out all the negativity in your heart. You got to clear out all the all the anger and resentment and the feelings of unforgiveness that you have from your past or whoever or whatever. You got to clear all that out. You got to get get your heart center open. Now, to me, the heart center is the main center. You have all your other chakra centers that you have to open and clear too. But to me, the heart center is the main because the way I see it. The heart center is like headquarters, or that's like, uh, it's kind of like the server. It's the server for the, for the net, it's the main server for the network. So, if you start in the heart, if you start working in the heart center, and you get your heart center open and cleared, and you start experiencing love and joy, then it's going to help move through the network of your body, and it's going to help clear out all your other centers. So, that's where the heart center is where, where you need to start. You don't necessarily have to start there. You can start from your root chakra and you can move up. It's all up to you. It's how you want to do it. But eventually, you're going to have to come back to the heart and you're going to have to do your work there. Okay, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about grounding with the energies and grounding with Gaia or Mother Earth. It's important too because Mother Earth is ascending. She's ascending no matter what. She doesn't care. She's going. She doesn't really care whether we go with her or not. But if we're here, if we're still here and we're aligned with her, she's taking us with her. And that's what we want. We don't want to be left behind. We don't want to be left behind in the third dimension in the old energies because we're just going to die there. So if you're ready to ascend, you're ready to go with, with Gaia. You're ready to move into the fifth dimension where there's joy, love, peace, and harmony. Then you need to learn how to connect with energies and you need to practice doing it. So you can be strong and bold. And when the energies, when the higher, stronger energies start hitting you, you'll be ready for them. And you say, I can handle this because I'm ready. That's all I got to say. Thanks, folks. Bye.